it's a beautiful day outside today, but, but my unfinished basement, it has its own attractions too. Like, it's the perfect place to brew beer 3A, Czech pale lager. When all eyes met, it was like magic. Damn, you look so good, now I gotta have it. You fit my open upside down. You like the pop melody now. Would you harmonize with me? Yeah. You got me floating off the ground. So at this point in my homebrew challenge, I'm on the third category of the BJCP guidelines now. I've done standard American lagers, I've done international lagers, and now it's time to check lagers. And yes, I have done a lot of lagers so far, but I am looking forward to this category because there are two types of pale lagers to brew, then an amber lager and then a dark lager. Now, Czech Pale Lager is most definitely a light lager. It's around 3 or 4% ABV. But unlike, say, an American light lager, the emphasis here is on having a bitter, hoppy drink. So some real character to it. So a rounded rather than harsh bitterness and also extremely sessionable. Now, I looked, but I couldn't find a commercial version of this beer for sale. But I'm looking forward to trying this one. Now the malt bill for this, well, it's, uh, it's kind of pitiful, there's not much in here. The base malt is six pounds of Bohemian Floor Malted Pilsner Malt. And then I'm putting in 12 ounces of Victory Malt just to give it a bit more body. And then four ounces of acidulated malt just to correct the pH. I'm gonna mash in at 152 Fahrenheit. So I've been mashing for, well actually about 75 minutes. Not for any good reason, other than uh, I had a phone call and kind of got busy, so just left it mashing. I've taken a sample and the temperature corrected gravity is 1033. I'm looking for 1029, so I've gone slightly over that. That may mean a couple of extra points at the end, we'll see. Now we're going for an IBU of about 30 with this beer and uh, most of the flavor and aroma is gonna come from Czech Saz hops. But uh, for the bittering, I am using Styrian Golding hops. I'm using 1.5 ounces, which in my batch size will give me around 24 IBUs of bitterness. So these go in 60 minutes. It's Czech Saz hops for the flavor and aroma hops. I've got one ounce, which I'm going to put in here at 15 minutes, and then one ounce at the end of the boil. So the beer came in at 10.34, which is right on the money. So that uh, couple of points extra pre-boil gravity ended up not coming into play. But I didn't get quite as much wort out of the kettle as I was suspecting. I ended up with a little bit less than five gallons. And look, this is a new brewing system and it's a chance to see how you really need to dial these systems into your settings. So I want to show you what I've got in Beersmith. Now the equipment profile I'm using in Beersmith came directly from the manufacturer and it has uh, all the settings here for the brew system. The boil off rate here, I've got set to 0.66 and I suspect that I'm actually boiling quite a bit faster than that. Now that doesn't really surprise me because this Unibrow system is very customizable and I ended up putting in the strongest, most powerful uh, electrical element in there I could find. So it's a 240 volt electrical element. So I think I'm getting more of a rolling boil than Beersmith predicts. So next time when I do this, it's gonna tell me to add a little bit more water in at the start, which should address that. So the next brew day, I'll give that a try, see if that's a bit closer to the boil off rate I'm getting. And then with these sort of adjustments, eventually I will get this system honed down and I should be able to get reliable amounts of wort, uh, reliable final gravity numbers and so forth as I learn really how my system works. Yeast for this one is Y Yeast 2308 Munich Lager. It is a lager yeast, so I need to get my wort a little bit cooler 
down to really ideally 50 degrees. So I've put it in the fridge to do that. And then we'll pitch this in a couple of hours when that work has cooled down. Okay, I have Alex with me. Hi, Alex. Hi, Martin. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, it's tasting time. So uh, beer came out at 3.8%. Um, I've been lagering it for about five, six weeks. Uh, so first of all, let's take a look at the clarity. Is it looking nice and clear? It is indeed looking very clear. It's a light gold, I'd say, appearance, and uh, even a little foam on top. It's died down a little bit still. Yep, looks really, uh, really light and gold. Yep, yep, yep. So I did skip any sort of post-clarification uh, steps. I just have literally let this age in the keg. It's sat there cold for yeah five weeks of lagering. Um, that seems to have, have done the trick. Okay, so next thing is aroma. Let's see if we get any aroma from this. It is a, a very light lager, but it's a little bit hoppy because it's a Czech okay. lager. So let's let's see if we can smell anything. Definitely a little bit. I'd say I'd say a little hoppiness comes through the smell. Yeah. So bearing in mind that this is 3.8%. Um, when we did uh, American Light Lager, it smelled of nothing, absolutely nothing whatsoever. <laughs> I wasn't here for that, no. but I can't imagine. Lucky you. Um, <laughs> so it's, yeah, this has definitely got a bit of a hop aroma to it. Okay, so then let's move on to uh, mouthfeel and taste. I like it. I, I really like it. I'm, I'm a big fan of the light beer styles. I love wheat beers. And even though this does come in a little bit like medium hoppiness in it, um, it's still a light one, especially for the hot temperatures outside the summer. It tastes great. Yeah, so there's definitely, um, I think there's quite a lot of taste in this considering it's a, such a light beer at you know, 3%. So yeah. uh, a little bit malty as you'd expect, but I think there is that sort of, that Czech hop flavor is, is coming through. There is definitely a little bit yes. of hoppiness to it, which um, again, is such an improvement over American Light Lager, which <laughs> yes. is brewed to taste like nothing and succeeds brilliantly. But this <laughs> tastes like nothing. <laughs> yes, this actually does. So, now look, you're from Germany, of course. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite German beer? My favorite German beer? All right, this is uh, interesting. Usually I will go for the Hefeweizen styles and pretty much any of those are really nice. However, the uh, Schefferhofer one, is one of my favorite like Hefeweizen and beer style. So I'd probably put that down as uh, my favorite one. Yeah, I've not tried that. Oh, you should. Yeah, <laughs> I think this has come out all right. What do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, for a Czech beer, I've been to the Czech Republic and I had a couple of those beer styles there. And gotta say, it's really close to what you get at the real thing, so. Yeah. Well, I will take that. All right, <laughs> cheers. Cheers.